We're all set to go with this one. It's a scheduled 10 round junior lightweight battle, special attraction featuring the up and coming Roberto Duran from right here in Panama. He's taking on a former world champion, Hiroshi Kobayashi from Japan, as I mentioned, outside of Tokyo. Kobayashi comes in at 60 wins, nine losses, four draws. One of the more experienced fighters that Roberto Duran has faced thus far in his career. Roberto, 26-0, as you know, 21 KOs, a great knockout artist from right here in Panama. Now, the heat could be a factor tonight. You know, Kobayashi trains up there in uh, Japan, in the northern part of uh, Japan, and it's kind of cool there. So the humidity here, this is an outdoor arena. The humidity here will play a factor, but it won't be a real big factor along around the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh round, that area, when this heat and humidity just can drain a body. You see, Kobayashi's no slouch, one of the better fighters, as we take a look at him here in round number one. By the way, this uh, fight is sanctioned by the World Boxing Council. 10-point must scoring system, meaning the winner of the round gets 10 points, the loser 9 or less. Scoring will be done by three judges based on effective aggressiveness, clean hits, ring generalship, and defense. And the fighter must get up following a low blow or he may be counted out. There's no standing 8 count, but there is a mandatory 8 count following knockdowns and anything else that becomes a factor here as we watch Roberto Duran since they both have the white trunks and you may not be familiar with either one of these fellas as yet Duran the guy to the left of your screen right now with the white lacing on his shoes and you see Kobayashi pretty good body puncher I'll tell you uh, the favorite fighter of Roberto Duran is a guy by the name of Isma Laguna a fellow Panamanian nice shots inside by Kobayashi and you see the way the man with the hands of stone this young uh, Duran takes shots look at the shots Kobayashi is wailing him, wailing him here in the early going in round one. Again for Roberto Duran, he's fought most of his fights right here in Panama. So internationally, he hasn't had the type of competition that perhaps you need. But I'll tell you right now, when you look at Roberto Duran, he has all the skill, all the ability. This kid is really tough. He's, he's, he's the type of guy you don't want uh, to be uh, next to unless you're in a fox hole someplace. And, and then you definitely want him with you. This kid is some kind of tough. Uh, the way he looks, uh, he has all the ability to jump. Look at that long, looping right hand. Backs off Kobayashi. Kobayashi takes him behind the left ear. He's noticed the hands coming down to Kobayashi. Already this tremendous humidity here in Panama can force a guy to wilt. He goes downstairs. Kobayashi got off some good shots, but look at Duran. Every time he gets hit, it ignites on. Oh, nice right hand that time by uh, the Panamanian. Look at the shots to the body. He never stops throwing punches. They call him the little hands of stone. And by golly, with a knockout record, he has 21 KOs, 26 wins. This guy is something else. Wow, look at this. Panama Stadium, Bob Sheridan back here. This is a classic. Roberto Duran, you're watching the maturation of a guy that I believe is going to be a great champion. You're also watching Hiroshi Kobayashi, a former champion of the world. He lost his WBA world title to Alfredo Marcano. That was in the 10th round of his very last fight. He was KO'd in the 10th. Guy's got the book on him, uh, a technician in the ring, no great KO power, and he certainly won't knock out Roberto Duran tonight with the kind of shots that uh, he is throwing. <laughs> I tell you, he may be concerned about getting knocked out himself because look at Duran, jab, jab, bangs downstairs. Why with that shot upstairs, Duran bounces one off the board. Closing seconds of round number one. All right, here we go with round number two. Bob Sheridan back here. We're in Panama City. A hot, humid October evening here. The uh, two fighters in the ring, Roberto Duran, the favorite son to the left of your screen, and Hiroshi Kobayashi from Japan, now to the left of your screen. Two real good fighters, one veteran in uh, Kobayashi and another up-and-comer. You're going to see a lot of this guy, Roberto Duran. We talked about Duran fighting mostly his, uh, most of his career here in Panama, but the fact of the matter is, Kobayashi, in spite of the fact that he won the World Junior Lightweight title from a countryman, uh, Yoshiaki Numata, in December of uh, 1964, he's fought a good part of his career, only nine times uh, in 73 bouts outside of Japan. Will that be a factor? I think it will be before this one's over. Remember, we're in round two. It's Roberto Duran to the right of your screen who's getting busy now in Kobayashi. Long, looping right hand. Get this Kobayashi. So far, he hasn't caught him flush. We're in round two. You see the shots, the way Duran is able to gobble him up. Kobayashi unleashes a wild right hand. This kid is already showing me 
uh, the ability to land shots cleanly. He takes away the vision from the left eye. He goes with right hand leads like that one. Wild with the right hand is Kobayashi. He catches uh, Durant high in the uh, top of the head. But you see Durant really took a shot that time. Kobayashi loading up shots. And as he does, Durant is really ready to counter him. He's doing a nice job countering shots. Has no fear of the punching power of Hiroshi Kobayashi. Of course, uh, here in Panama, you can hear the crowd. They absolutely love this kid. They all feel he's going to be world champion. And I have to tell you something. Myself, I haven't seen a better lightweight fighter. This was supposed to be in the junior lightweight division. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, the junior lightweight division uh, is the 130-pound division. Then the lightweight division is 135. And the junior welterweight is actually 140. Well, Duran is in tonight at 136. So he's actually fighting as a junior welterweight. The other guy's 135. He's actually fighting as a lightweight. But here in Panama, they're calling it a junior lightweight special attraction. Well, it is special tonight because in round two, Roberto Duran is beginning to pile up points. I gave him round number one. The judges, of course, uh, the three judges in attendance, all Panamanians, will do the scoring here. And uh, if uh, Kobayashi really doesn't do something significant, and pick up the pace here a little bit and land some of these wild right hands that he's throwing. It's going to be very difficult for him to get the scorecard here in Panama City. Remember, this is outside, and remember, it's very, very humid. And remember, most fighters that come from northern countries, that time, a pretty good looping right hand got through, but it just has no effect on uh, young Roberto Duran. Duran, 20 years old against a 27-year-old veteran, uh, Kobayashi. But uh, I'll tell you, Duran has got this round, too, landing real good shots. Coming up to the closing seconds now of round number two, and it's all Duran. All right, this is round number three back in Panama City. Bob Sheridan here for another great classic in the history of uh, boxing. Roberto Duran, just 20 years old. And from what they tell me here in Panama, he's going to be around for a long time. It's Roberto Duran with his back to you. To the right of your screen, former world champion uh, Hiroshi Kobayashi. And this is the way the first couple of rounds went. Kobayashi starting the round fast. And then I keep mentioning the heat and humidity, but I think it's a very important factor because Roberto Duran is used to it here in Panama. And it's very, very hot in October, this time of year in Panama. And the humidity is just brutal. Uh, I'm roasting here at ringside, and, and uh, most of the Panamanian people just love this heat. So you got to figure Duran loves it, and Kobayashi's got to be suffering out there. That's why you see him wilt and the hands come down as the time goes by. And Duran, of course, stays right on top of him. Nice, clean fight. Roberto uh, with his hands in stone. A lot of people said he's such a brawler, but he's a clean fighter. He is a brawler in that he throws so many punches. Look at him. Jab, jab, jab. He's a classic guy. Jab, he par in there. Then he goes with the right hand. And as soon as the guy tries to mix it up, Roberto bangs him and makes him pay. Angelo Dundee says hit and don't get hit. And uh, Roberto Duran doesn't pay any attention to that because he'll hit. You see the referee say, hey, keep it up. Keep it up, Roberto. Uh, Roberto uh, not throwing low punches, but uh, occasionally they land uh, down in the belt area. But he loves to work the body. He goes downstairs, back up, then goes with the right hand lead. Very effective, that right hand lead. Roberto likes to stay just off the left shoulder of the Japanese fighter. And when he does that, he takes the vision away with his left, and then he drops the right hand. That's why he can get away with going with these right-hand leads. Watch Roberto with his right-hand lead. See what I mean? He takes the vision away with the left when he works that left eye of Kobayashi. This guy knows exactly what he's doing. He's only 20 years old. Uh, this is his sixth fight this year. By the way, he fought 22 of his 26 bouts right here in Panama, up to New York City one time. He fought in Madison Square Garden, a huge hit up there, and then he's had three fights in Mexico. But this kid, as he develops and continues to develop, is truly a world-class fighter. You can see the way he's controlling a guy that's a former champion. About a minute to go, and this is the third round. I have Duran winning the first two rounds of my scorecard. That's unofficial, needless to say. The uh, judges will be doing the official scoring. Three judges, three Panamanian judges do the scoring here. But I would be very surprised if this one goes the distance. It's just too hot, and you can see even through and into this third round here that Kobayashi is beginning to wilt in this heat and humidity. Very, very tough one. The referee says, okay, keep the hands up. I don't know why. He goes with the right-hand lead. Totally ineffective to Roberto Duran. Duran loves it. Yeah, you see Kobayashi showing flashes of, of greatness, too. You don't become a world champion uh, and, 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 and don't look good at times during a fight, no matter how good the competition is. 
Don't forget Roberto, only 20 years old. What a future this kid's got. Coming up now to the closing seconds of this, the third round from Panama City. So we're set to go with round number four here in Panama City. Roberto Duran and Hiroshi Kobayashi. A fine junior lightweight special attraction here. That's Roberto Duran kind of facing you now to the right of your screen. And Hiroshi Kobayashi now facing you now to the right of your screen. Both of them wearing the white trunks as you can plainly see. So uh, we'd like to point them out. The guy again, if you don't know the fighters, and you will know this guy, Roberto Duran, before his career is over. They certainly love him here in Panama. And believe me, from everything that I see tonight, uh, I think that this kid is definitely uh, on a world championship, uh, uh, well, direction anyway. The kid is terrific. Again, to the left of your screen, Roberto Duran at 20 years of age, showing me everything. Don't forget, Kobayashi, former world champion, he defended that WBA crown four times before he lost it in his last fight to Alfredo Meccano. Uh, he lost that, by the way, last July. Uh, Kobayashi, kind of a streak fighter in his career. His longest win streak of his career was when he first turned professional. He won his first 18 pro bouts, including two knockouts. And then he had a tough time after that with four consecutive losses, including a six-round KO by Johnny Hamido in November of 63. And then he started winning again and uh, won the championship. So he's a streak fighter. But the big important thing to observe tonight here for Panama City is the fact that Roberto Duran, for really the first time in his career, is in with a world-class fighter. That's why you see... Duran uh, getting hit from time to time. Kobayashi does have fast hands. He is a ring technician. But the fact of the matter is, Roberto is making him wilt here in the heat in Panama. He's getting the jab through. He's able to land the big right hand. I scored all three of the first three rounds for Roberto Duran. And let's just watch, and, and I'll tell you why, and why he's so effective. Again, I pointed out in the last round, and he likes to stay off that left shoulder. He's in the perfect position there for the left hand. Takes the vision away with the left, keeps bouncing that left off the eye, and then he'll drop the right, bang, right there, and on the ear there. About a minute to go, and this is the fourth round. And again, it's gone like the other rounds. Roberto loading up some shots here. Remember the heat. I keep pointing it out because it's such a factor here. The humidity is really brutal here. It's tough just sitting here calling a fight. Can you imagine what it's like in the ring? That body shot was a good body shot by Kobayashi. Maybe his best punch uh, during the course of this fight. He may have hurt Duran just a little bit, but Duran is just so tough from the streets here in Panama, and that's why the people in Panama City love him so much. Wow, with the left hand is Roberto Duran. When he gets hit, he gets kind of a juices going. I think that left hand shot that was right on top of the liver slowed him down just a bit. You see uh, Roberto trying to get the blood flow going through the arms, moving the hands around. It kind of ignites him again when he does get hit, but that one hurt him. It was a good liver shot, a left hook by Kobayashi. Uh, they, this guy just doesn't have any quit in him. A nice finish to the round four now as they really slug away at each other. All right, Bob Sheridan back here in Panama. This is round number five, a junior lightweight special attraction, Roberto Duran and Hiroshi Kobayashi. So far, I gave the first three rounds to Duran, and I scored the last one even based on that liver shot that I thought Kobayashi, I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of looking for a reason to give him a round to try and make it a little bit closer, but so far, uh, the former world champion Kobayashi is taking a boxing lesson, except for the early maybe 15, 20, to 30 seconds of each round, and then it's all Duran going with these right-hand leads, bounces around to the left as Kobayashi, right after him all the time is Roberto Duran. Duran trying to get busy with the left, out there with that light left jab, taking on the cheek, but again, he uses that left a lot to take the vision away. See that three-punch combination upstairs, then to the ribs, then back upstairs again. Watch him with the right-hand lead. He goes to the left hand now. He's looking for an opportunity to drop the big right on top of the uh, Japanese fighter who's beginning to wilt with the heat here. I keep mentioning that because I believe it will be a major factor. Notice the left hand of Kobayashi. He's carrying it very low, meaning he's wide open for the right hand. And believe me, at 20 years old, Roberto Duran is still sharp enough to realize this. There he goes with the right hand. As soon as he really gets it in his corner men, Carlos Aletta and the people over there in the corner, uh, Espada and the whole crew that works in there, they'll realize that. They'll tell Roberto that. These are veteran people that handle Roberto Duran. And you see him going with that right hand lead. 
Notice Kobayashi starting to throw his left hand from down around the hip. He, he just isn't getting through and not as effective as he was even in the early seconds of the first two or three rounds of the fight. It was a nice left hook that got Roberto Duran on the right side of his body, the low right side. That's the area of the liver, but that was back in round four. This is the fifth round. Roberto Duran leaning on the former world champion. Duran to the right of your screen. Separated again. Kobayashi looking you right in the eyes now. He tries to bounce away. Got to give credit to Kobayashi. It's one of the first times that he hasn't come forward. He keeps throwing punches too. It's just that when you talk about aggressiveness and effective aggressiveness, it's Duran that has the effective aggressiveness. Although neither fighter has been down, neither fighter shaken, neither fighter visibly in any trouble at any time, with the one exception of that liver shot that Kobayashi nailed Duran with. Look at Duran. He, he will take a shot to get one. I'll tell you, this guy's something else. You're going to love this guy's career. This guy's going to be around a long time. Kobayashi defended his world title four times, held the world title, and Duran, this is a big step up in class for him, too. In spite of the fact that it's down here in his backyard in Panama, the big advantage is the heat. Uh, for Duran, he loves it. For Kobayashi, it's tough. But Kobayashi is the type of guy that's got to go to foreign places. Coming up towards the end of the round now, and it's still uh, kind of an even sort of round, a better round for Kobayashi, but Duran's still in total command. And Duran, a couple of nice left hooks there as the bell ends, round number five. All right, here we go with round number six, Estadio Presidente in Panama City. Bob Sheridan here with this sports classic for you, Roberto Duran. And the reason I call it a classic is because Roberto Duran is going to be a future champion of the world. This kid is a champion in the making, if ever I've seen one. Watch him work to the left of your screen. This kid, they say, the little hands of stone. He's going to be the big hands of stone before his career is over. This kid can pound. We're in the sixth round. I've given the first three to Duran. That's unofficial on my scorecard. Hiroshi Kobayashi, former world champion with... Four title defenses, lost his world title his last time out. Duran facing you to the right of your screen, moving way up in class, fighting this kid. But the kid from Japan beginning to wilt a little bit in this tremendous heat. And again, I don't mean to bore you by mentioning the tremendous heat and humidity here, but it's a major factor. October's a warm month in this part of the world, believe me. Wow, look at that right hand lead by uh, Roberto Duran. His punches come from all over the place. The angles that he gets, he'll take a little shuffle step to the left, he'll go with the left hook, he'll go with the straight left hand, he'll come back, he'll nail you with the right hand, he'll go with the right hand lead, he'll bang you to the body, he'll throw three or four punches at once, he'll come with a straight right hand, he'll come with a sort of an uppercut like that last one there. Never stops throwing punches, not afraid to take a punch. This kid will prove, I'm sure, to be one of the great future champions before this fight's over, because this kid from Japan is wilting. I can tell you, and you'll see it, as we pointed out in the fifth round, the hands continue to come down as this sixth round continues to progress. You can see his jaw hanging down. He's uh, beginning to show more fatigue all the time. Although he fought such a valiant fifth and uh, actually fourth and fifth round, I should say that uh, I scored those two rounds even, just really more or less looking for a reason to keep the fight close on my scorecard. But the fact of the matter is, Duran is really taking command here in the sixth round. He's landing more blows, he's landing heavier blows, and Roberto not wilting at all. Look at the way he moves down to the body. The uh, former champ tries to put pressure on him. It's Kobayashi with his back to you. He lands a pretty good shot inside, and a nice combination with about a minute to go here in the sixth round. He lands combinations, but heck, he's a former world champion. Expect him. And Duran has no fear of this guy's power. So he lets him land him. You see Duran leaning over. He's really a little bull. And now he's telling him, keep the hands up and keep the hands closed. Referee Ortega, he's unbelievable. He's got five years' experience as a professional, this kid. Don't forget, he started boxing at age 15. He's 20 years old now. And this kid's going to be around for a long time. He loves to fight. Uh, through an interpreter uh, the day before yesterday, we had a chance to talk to Roberto, and he was telling us, man, 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 I love this sport. I love this career. I love my president. I love my country. I'm going to fight for Panama for my entire... He says, I'll still be fighting when I'm 45 years old. That's the kind of heart and desire. Well, history will tell whether he'll be around that long, but he's a great one. Coming up to the closing seconds now of this, the sixth round from Panama. Big finishing shot by Roberto Duran. All right.
right, Bob Sheridan back here in Panama City. Roberto Duran and Hiroshi Kobayashi. Duran really gave him a pasting in the sixth round. Big question is, how much longer can the Japanese fighter last? Duran really scored a lot of punches in the sixth, and you notice Kobayashi missing a lot of shots here because he's fatigued. Good body shot, light left, and big right hand got it. Look at that, he backs him up. Big shot and drops the former champ. Roberto Duran has him down. The counts up to four and five. He's not going to make it. Six, seven, eight, nine, and he's counted out to ten. The referee's back was to me, and I couldn't see just how fast he was counting, but he definitely counted him out and then waved his hand to the ten count. Look at the crowd. They love Roberto Duran. He's going to be a great champion. I'll tell you, folks, if he gets that shot they're talking about against the lightweight champion Kenny Buchanan of Scotland, it'll be terrific. You saw Buchanan take out Frankie Otero from Miami a short time ago. Whether he can do the same thing with Roberto Duran is what this crowd wants to see. And wouldn't they love to have it down here in Panama. What a great night and a great showing for a future brilliant star on the horizon, Roberto Duran.